What's going on YouTube? It's Migs back at it again with another video for you guys today. A few days ago, I got a package in the mail from Zeal Cigars. I ended up ordering about five samplers from him. Um, won't tell you the total because that's kind of out of the question. Um, I did pay for these on my own. Um, so this is going to be a 100% honest review on Bradley's cigars. Uh, some of them are his own, some of them are not. Um, so the ones that we really will be going over are the Spice Cream and the Unicorn Sampler because I believe those are both his house blends or brands. Um, let's just start off by saying the Spice Cream is actually really good. Um, but today's just more of an unboxing on what I got, how the package comes, and what you guys should expect from Zeal Cigars. Um, I am not sponsored by him in any way, shape, or form. He does not uh, give me any money or pay me in cigars by any means necessarily. I barely doubt he knows I exist except for me ordering cigars from him and talking to him on his YouTube. Um, but if he by a chance happens to see this video, um, Bradley, I'm starstruck if you're actually watching this. Um, Thank you. Thank you for the cigars you sent me. They're absolutely amazing, especially the three that you sent me from your personal stash, which you notated here. Dude, you're absolutely awesome. Um, I never thought in a million years that someone would send me something, not necessarily for free, because I did spend a hefty amount of money with you. But the simple fact that you still ended up going out of your way and putting a few of your personal favorite cigars in the box for me says a lot to me as not a big YouTuber. Or I'm not very well known. So with that being said, thank you, Bradley. Thank you, the whole team, Zeal team. Let's get on with this video, guys. So let's open this bad boy and see if I can get it on camera for you. Alright. 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 Ho oh, ho ho! I even got a personal handwritten part from Bradley. So there was a note explaining that I had asked him in a video to throw in a, a personal stick for me. And I said, hey, I asked you on Saturday to throw in a stick or two of your most favorite sticks. I love your content and appreciate what you do. I watch your video from nine to five at work, LOL. You make me laugh from day in and day out. Always enjoy smoking a stogie and watching your videos. Hope you have a wonderful night. He said, you're awesome. Thanks so much. Bradley threw in a few of his personal favorites in his stash. I don't know if you guys can read that. I'm trying not to expose the name right there, but this is what Mr. Bradley said. Yeah. All right. Woo, baby. Look at that. So that's the Psycho Pack. So I got a Psycho Pack. Ooh, what are these? These are the spice creams. Oh, bitch. I got some more. These are the unicorns. Fuck yeah. Unicorns, what are these? The Camachos. Got Camachos, the 2020 blends, guys. Oh, oh, oh. And I believe, I believe these are his. I believe these are his favorites right here, guys. And I got a few goodies at the bottom of it because they were samplers and they came with a few things. Awesome. So first, we got a lighter. It's a cool little lighter. We got, ooh, we got a perfect cutter. It's got a little backstop, two blades, guillotine style from these guys. I also got some of their sticks as well. And a dope ass ashtray. 
And then I got a psycho cutter as well. I'm so excited. All right, guys, so I don't know if I'm gonna smoke any of these in this video, but definitely, definitely. Ooh. So it says to let your cigars rest in a humidor for three to five days after arrival. You know me, guys, I love the stickers. Zeal Team 6. Ooh, did I get those? Yep. The, okay, so these are the ones that I, that I asked him to throw in for me because I wanted to see what Mr. Bradley wanted to, or likes to smoke. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I see you. I see you, Mr. Bradley. Thanks for the hookup. So this one is an Esteban. I'm sorry if I'm butchering the fuck out of these names. This is an Esteban Caris? Cardis? A ha I was gonna call it a habanero. Not the fucking chili. It's a habano. I'm, I'm special today. It's Friday. It's been a long day. I just got off of work. But it's an... Esteban, can't say his last name because I'm Mexican, but I can't say his last name. Yeah, go figure, right? But it's a Habano. It's a really dark wrapper. Ooh. Ooh. And, ooh, he sent me a Maya Silve cigar? I need to look up these names and try and try to pronounce them a little bit better on camera for you guys. Oops, I don't know if I showed you that one. So he sent me this one as well. Out of his personal favorite. And a Robusto. J.A. Nicaraguan? Nicaragua? Yes. But here we go with this one. Oh, I'm so excited for these. And it comes with a Bovita pack, which is good because I need a few extra Bovita packs for my humidor. He sent me some matches as well with Zeal Cigar. Mr. Bradley, I appreciate you a lot. I really do. I love your videos. You're absolutely amazing. And fuck, dude. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for all the cigars. I'm so happy. Oh, I want to look at these Camachos. My wife's home. Look at the Camacho. This is the Camacho 2020 Liberty Series. Check that out. Sorry guys, my wife just got home. I'll be right back. All right guys, we're back. So sorry about my wife kind of interrupting that last little bit of the video. So those were the Camacho 2020s and we'll go over those a little bit here. Um, I got some bundle cigars from the local brick and mortar shop as well. So I'm going to just put these aside because that has nothing to do with this video. Um, again, another cigar from the brick and mortar shop. Actually, I think I have a couple in here because so I don't have a very big humidor. Let's just start off by saying that. And let's just start off by saying this might be a really long video. Excuse me. Might be a really long video. So I do apologize. Um, but this is just going over everything that came in the box. Um, okay, yeah, those two aren't, and that's not, all right, guys, all right, guys, so I ended up getting a Psycho sampler, so I got these guys, these are the Psycho, um, cigars, they're, I've had a Psycho Connecticut, it's actually really good. Uh, I guess so good that I bought a sampler of different ones. Um, 
Okay. So yeah, that's, I find that actually kind of funny. Is that all the Camachos? No, there should have been six. I'm missing. I'm missing a cigar, guys. Oh, no, I'm just fucking done. Okay. All right, I'm just part retarded and I just hit the camera putting that bowl down. All right guys, so out of the psycho, I got two Nica, I can't say that because I'm not a very good pronouncer. It's Nica Arguin, Nica, Nicaragua, Nicaragua. I got two of those, a uh, big boy and a little boy. I got two, which ones are these? I got two Maduro, Maduros, those are the darkers and two of the Connecticut's. So I've already had one of these, actually really good. Um, so I'm really excited to get into those. I also ended up getting a Camacho sampler. Um, I did smoke one of the Camachos, so I had to get another one exactly the same, but it came in a fancy tube just for the sake of this video. It is exactly the same. It was box pressed. It was, it's exactly the same as this one. Um, I just got another one for the sake of this video. Actually, that is one of the cigars he gave me, but that's one of the personal ones. All right, guys, so these are the Camacho. I got seven. Oh, yeah. So I got a Camacho Corjo. I got a Camacho Master Built Series. I got the Ecuadorian Camacho. <laughs> I don't know how to say that, but it's Cor Corlo, Corleo, Corio, because the double L in Spanish is a Y. So it could be Corio and the Connecticut's. I've had a few of these already. The Camacho Connecticut's are kind of my favorite. Not my all time favorite, but they're one of my favorites. All right guys, so that's one sampler. Oh, and it came with two 2020 Liberty Camacho series. I do have one of these open to show you guys. I don't know if I'm gonna smoke these ever just because of how 2020 has been going. So it comes in a little coffin. It's a nice little cedar box. I think it's Spanish cedar. Uh, if I am wrong, correct me down in the comments, but this is the Camacho 2020 series. The only reason why I really bought this is because 2020 has been such a fucking crazy year. And this is a good, a good uh, cigar to smoke maybe in 10, 15 years when you're, you know, sitting down chilling talking to someone about how you spent 2020 because fucking corona and all this other bullshit that's going on so that's the camacho series that i bought i bought some fritillos it only came with four because it came with a cutter and a ashtray which is currently being used uh, let me just start off by saying the two cutters that you saw previous in the video the fritillo and the psycho absolutely fucking trash they both fucked up my cigars um i would honestly recommend a um zycar v cutter or a zycar guillotine cutter um zycar is one of my favorite brands so far i haven't had any issues with any of their products um i love the i'll do a review on this soon um i got my stickers on it of course dark knight um it's a 15 count humidor it's all right. Um, I could probably easily fit more than 15 in there if I take out the foam, um, which I do. But right now, the way I have it set up is I have the foam with the unicorns, splitting up the unicorns and stuff because that this is another sampler that I got. Um, it came with 
sorry, I'm looking at the paper for reference. It came with eight cigars total. It came with a, it says San, a Connecticut, uh, San Green is what I think it is. I could be wrong. Uh, the Connecticut's, I think a Honduran and a Maduro are what it came in. I could be wrong, but I don't want to pull all those out because those are stacked kind of nicely. But getting on with uh, this, I did show you the Fertillo's. It does come with a cutter and stuff. The cutter's trash yet again. Um, not worth it. It's worth spending the extra 50, 60 bucks on a pretty decent cutter. Um, that's just my opinion. I have a few different cutters. And honestly, spending the 60 bucks for a pretty decent hefty metal cutter is absolutely worth it. Um, the only cutter that I have not tried yet is the punch. And I'm kind of refusing to, but... I might have to whenever I get into this uh, flathead. This is a flathead, and I believe it's a 7x70. It's a fat box press square. It just looked intimidating. Why I bought it? All right, guys, so as you can see, I have the Bovita packs at the bottom. And this was the last one. This is the case study versus spice cream. So I got four spice creams but I smoked one like I said at the beginning of this the spice cream was really good I got four spice creams and three case studies and I'm excited to try these um, I already tried one of these ones but the case studies I'm kind of excited to try and then this is the last cigar out of the three that he sent me personally um, but yeah guys uh, thank you for watching if you like this video um, oh my god, I totally fucked that up. If you guys really enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you'd like to see more videos. Um, I will be posting another video either today or tomorrow, um, going over... What should we do? Hmm. I think we'll do the spice cream. Um, so our next review will be for the... Either a spice cream or one of my little gadgets that I got going on. Either this little guy or the Zycar V cutter. Or I might just do a cutter video in general because I had a personal I personally had a hard time finding a good cutter for myself. So I might just do one of those as well. So expect to see another video here shortly. Um thank you guys again. Have a great night.